<laughs> oh, she stuck the landing. She is magnificent. Give Jade Carey another perfect 10. There's nothing like it. This environment has taught me that I do my best gymnastics when I'm having the most fun. Truly as good as you can do it. A bond built in Corvallis. I have 20 teammates who are going to be considered my family for the rest of my life. And my coaches and my dad obviously are very important people in my life that I know that will be there forever. Jade Carey has taken Oregon State Gymnastics to another level. A gym slam, 117 event titles, the top 23 all-around scores in Oregon State history. Talking about records and <laughs> rewriting the record books and how cliche that sounds, but you legitimately did that. What does that mean to you to make that type of history and impact here at Oregon State? That means everything to me. I didn't even know that it was something that was possible. <laughs> it's just really special to me to be able to hold that and be able to set the standards and hopefully someone can come after me and break it then too. <laughs> even in an Olympic year, there's no place she'd rather be. I think I knew in the back of my mind that this is where I'm the happiest, so kind of why not like see how far I can go. Carrie's Olympic experience in Tokyo was all about perseverance. From the lowest of lows, stumbling in the vault, to the highest of highs, winning gold on floor. I learned a lot of things about myself, especially just how strong of a person that I am because I did have a bad day and then the next day I had like the best day of my life. You win a gold medal. At that point it could have been easy to say, okay, I did that, <sighs> I'm done. <laughs> did you ever consider walking away or was it always like, I want to get back to the Olympics again? It was easier to say I wanted to go back because we didn't have quite the normal experience. It was COVID and so we were very isolated on our own. I also knew that I could have done better. And so that's something that was always in the back of my mind. Being the reigning Olympic champion doesn't guarantee a trip to Paris. She's got to earn a spot at trials. What we're about to do is definitely not easy. And I think having gone through it before, I know what's coming, but I feel more prepared this time around. And the field is stacked. I think this year is insane. Only five make up Team USA. It is exciting and I think we could probably all say that we think about each other in the gym every day. Like you might not want to do that one more, but what's the person next to you going to do? Stunning. Motivation to be at the top of her game. It makes you just really want to keep going, keep building and keep getting better. Now you probably recognize that person behind me because that is Vancouver's Jordan Childs. She is also competing for a shot at returning to the Olympic Games. The U.S. Gymnastics Trials kick off Thursday in Minneapolis. We will have coverage all next weekend right here on KGW.